Right now at 6, emergency shelter for the homeless. Dozens of people stayed warm in city buildings after the lacrosse mayor declared an emergency. And the Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater Lacrosse received federal funds for future workforce readiness programs. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 6. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Amy DuPont. Roughly 25 people used La Crosse's Southside Neighborhood Center as a shelter during last week's winter storm. La Crosse Mayor Mitch Reynolds made the emergency declaration. News 8 Now's Duis Rahr spoke to the city's homeless service coordinator about the city's plans for future emergencies. Amy, in the past, Mayor Reynolds said the emergency declaration would be issued when nonprofit warming shelters reached their capacity. Homeless Service Coordinator Brian Sampson says this declaration was solely because of the weather. Sampson says the city is working on using a similar plan during severe weather during the springtime. For people who live outside, finding a place to stay during severe weather can be the difference between life or death. There's a lot of people that really care and, and understand the issue of homelessness and what that means for our community. When last week's winter storm made its way to La Crosse, Mayor Mitch Reynolds issued an emergency declaration. So this was an emergency plan strictly based off of the weather that was about to hit our community instead of the numbers in our community. The city opened the Southside Neighborhood Center from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. We average between 25 and 30 individuals in the evening. Um, during the daytime, because we were open 24-7, we had higher numbers. People who came after the hours needed a referral to enter or be escorted by the La Crosse Police Department. That's typical for warming centers. Um, that was based off of policies um, here in La Crosse as well, like at Catholic Charities Warming Center. So we wanted to keep that consistent. Volunteers and nonprofits, including the Salvation Army and Karuna, provided meals. Uh, there were a couple of other meals provided by different agencies and different people as well throughout the time. La Crosse's Homeless Service Coordinator Brian Sanders Samson says the emergency shelters were successful but are not a long-term solution. Housing is the way out of this. The more people we have off the streets and the more people that we have into housing with the necessary supportive services, the better it is for everybody. Talent security and cleaning services were used during the emergency declaration. Samson says the city is still working on calculating the total cost. Amy. All right. Thank you, Dua. During the storm, city officials and nonprofits also were offered people meals that are still out at Huska Park and then reminded them that that shelter was an option. After a very cold, long, what seemed long stretch of cold weather, hey, Bill, we finally got a break and there are lots of people outside just walking today. It was nice to see. Yeah, it's been about two weeks since we've been above freezing here in La Crosse and it's been since December 14th since we've seen 40 degrees like we did out at the La Crosse Airport. If you didn't reach 40, you were close. 37 in Eau Claire, 39 in Winona, 38 in Barocqua, 41 though in Black River Falls, also some 40s in Prairie du Chien and Boscobel. Now with the uh, warmer temperatures over a widespread snowpack like we see, we oftentimes get the clouds uh, like we saw today. Some filtered sun as well though, uh, but plenty of clouds tonight and some moisture starting to creep in from the south and west and this could spell some pockets of drizzle or a very light mix at times overnight as uh, this uh, more impressive moisture arrives overnight and into tomorrow, but it's going to be light either way. Uh, 35 degrees in Eau Claire, 37 in Black River Falls, 39 now in La Crosse, 36 in Barroqua and 39 in Prairie du Chien. Temperatures aren't going to fall much because of the cloud cover in fact remaining steady for much of the night. Uh, lows in the lower to middle 30s, right around 35 degrees in the cross. Again, that slight chance for some drizzle or a light mix in spots after midnight and into our Thursday. I'll detail that along with the temperatures that won't be overly cold over the next week or so coming up. All right, looking forward to it. Thank you, Bill. Here we go again. Lacrosse voters will head to the polls this April to choose the winners of six common council seats and four seats on the Board of Education. Filing deadlines for the candidates are fast approaching. Those documents need to be returned to the city clerk by January 3rd. That's next week. If you have questions about running, you can contact the city clerk at the number or email on your screen. La Crosse is part of a new nationwide effort to prevent overdose deaths. A professor from the UW School of Medicine is leading a team of researchers who will test the effectiveness of harm reduction services. Now, those services can include things like access to Narcan, drug testing strips, and clean needles to reduce overdoses and disease transmission. The study will be done at Vivant Health locations, including one here in La Crosse. The professor leading the study says researchers will prioritize the long-term impacts of the research. They hope to find ways 
ways to make harm re reduction services better, spread awareness within communities, and instill change. The lessons that we are learning um, about how to strengthen the impact of the services for the people who need it are going to benefit from making the general community aware of them. If you or someone you know needs free access to overdose treatments like Narcan, you can call 211 or go to 211wisconsin.org. Federal funding, a lot of it, is going to help the Lacrosse Boys and Girls Club get kids interested in future careers. Representative Ron Kind helped secure $1.5 million for the BGC. That money will go towards building an addition on the Erickson Club that will add more space for workforce readiness programs. I've always believed that the best investment we can make as a country is in our youth. To make sure that they're given every opportunity to be successful and, and to succeed in life, especially with the hyper-competitive global economy that we find ourselves in. The new program will focus on offering kids a chance to learn about trade and manufacturing jobs. Kids will learn what they like and don't like about the skilled trades. Leaders at BGC say they already offer programs through partnerships with local companies and they're a huge success. We have a great partnership right now with Train Technologies. They come in and run some STEM programming for us. And what we found is that some of those kids that normally um, have some behavioral issues or have a lot going on at home and at school, that's the one hour of the day where they are laser focused. They're really engaged, they're having fun, they're learning something, and they're feeling good about themselves. Now this funding won't cover all of the costs of the addition and programming, but leaders say they hope to break ground sometime next year. Ashley for the Arts is raising money by traveling. The nonprofit is joining Hub Group's Cause Container program lineup. So here's how it works. A road rail container decorated with Ashley for the Arts branding is going to travel across the country in an effort to raise awareness about the concert. When people see it, they can raise money for the event by posting a pic with the hashtag Cause Container. This program and the nonprofit's other fundraisers help reduce costs, making the concert more affordable for music fans and more valuable to the nonprofits that benefit from it. Because we're able to have great sponsors like the Hub Group, it helps offset those costs which we are able to donate back to our communities that we live and support. The Cause Container's journey across the U.S. will last all of 2023. Still ahead, fewer people join the ranks of rural emergency responders. A cash and couple that wants to find people to follow in their footsteps and provide life-saving help. And later, the Lacrosse Center prepping for a nearly for nearly a thousand young wrestlers, they're going to hit the mats for the 40th annual Bi State Classic. It's the High V Pizza and Pop Sale this Friday through Sunday. Brew Pub Pizza, just $4.99. Select a Giorno Pizza, just $4.99. And two liters of Pepsi products, only 99 cents, only at High V. Start the new year off right during the final days of the Ford Shine Bright sales event. Don't miss your chance to choose from a great selection of new Ford vehicles in stock and ready for delivery. Or place a custom order, lock in your rate, and you're protected. Plus, new inventory is still arriving daily, so you could drive one home today. Now, during the final days of the Ford Shine Bright sales event, get 1,500 open bonus cash on most Ford vehicles, only at your Northland Ford dealers. Jolivet Family Farms features one of the area's largest selections of frozen seafood, including king crab legs, lobster tail, shrimp, cod, calamari, alligator, salmon fillets, smelt, and frog legs. Choose from our large selection of fresh fruit and vegetables to complete your restaurant-style dinner prepared at home. Your dinner isn't complete without something from the Jolivet Homemade Bakery. Don't forget a bottle of Door County wine to complete your stay-at-home night out at Jolivet Family Farms, West Salem. Hey, it's Brody from Great River Harley-Davidson. 2022 was a great riding season, and all of us here at Great River want to say thank you. To all the riders who stopped by this year to check out an event, grab a shirt, or ride home on a new Harley, we want to say thank you and look forward to seeing you in the new year. Don't miss the High V Pizza and Pop Sale this Friday through Sunday. Get a large, single-topping Mia Italian take-and-bake pizza, just $5.99. And six packs of Coke products, only $1.99. Only at High V.
They offer life-saving care, but every year fewer people join their ranks. Rural communities are in desperate need of first responders. News 8 Now's Emily Haugen spoke to a cashing couple hoping to recruit others to follow in their footsteps. Amy, the Smiths have been cashed in first responders since the department was founded. It's been over 40 years since they started. They're in their 70s now and say they hope others will take on this critical job. It takes a lot of heart to save lives. Well, there's something to be said about helping out your neighbor when they're in need. Mary Beth and Rod Smith have volunteered as first responders since December 1981. I guess the need was there and so we took the call. <laughs> Today, the Smiths are two of many. We have 22, and I want to be very honest with you, we are a very um, lucky squad. But most rural communities aren't so fortunate. Westby, I think they may have, they have under 10, and I know that they were looking for help. I mean, they used to have a squad of one. When this life-saving population's numbers are low, a community suffers. The Smiths need others to step up and help. So it does take a lot of people to secure the area and then to take care of the patients and and all of that. So it can can require a lot of hands. Hands dedicated to work whenever duty calls. The, the page goes off at 24 3 o'clock in the morning. 24 seven holidays included. The Smiths and other volunteers have valuable skills, but they admit they can't carry their department forever. Three of us that are in our 70s and and four or five more that are pushing that. So, you know, how, lo how long are we going to be able to keep going? They say young people are needed to keep the service and the communities they serve healthy and safe. Just being kind to others and helping others is kind of the drive behind anybody that wants to continue to do this. Because we know someday we may need them to help us, and so we're hoping other people will step up and help as well. So a class will be offered beginning in January, and Kathy says if you live in the Cashton service area, the department may be able to pay for your class, but it is open to anyone. All right, thank you, Emily. That class begins January 11th. We will post sign-up information at news8000.com. After the break, shiny and clean. Lacrosse drivers are taking advantage of today's weather to hit the car wash. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl. It's looking like these milder temperatures will stick around for the next several days. I'll have the details of my eight day forecast after the break. is making room for 2023 with our year-end clearance. Everything is on sale. Plus, get no money down, six-year special financing on any purchase, and free shipping. Hurry, the year-end clearance ends Friday on Now at Home Furniture. Get started on your next project now at Menards. Create your dream bathroom with Sterling bathroom products to fit your style and budget. Like this Sterling Ensemble shower. Its durable, high-gloss finish provides lasting beauty. Save big on Sterling products. Put the finishing touches on your kitchen or bathroom with Moen. Add a modern touch with the matte black Mica bath faucet. Get it for only $99.99 now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Welcome to the brand new Holiday Inn Express and Suites. Whether you're here for business, family events, or a weekend getaway, we've got you covered. Overtired? Overworked? Lay down in one of our super comfy beds. Got kids? Our adjoining rooms are perfect for a restful night's sleep. Let the kids burn off energy in our kiddie pool while you relax in our hot tub. Come check in and check out our brand new Holiday Express and Suites in Onalaska La Crosse. Ram Tough is perfect for us at Pishke Motors. We've got some pretty tough customers. 
Get in on the big finish of 2022 with Pishki and Ram. Now through January 3rd, a new Ram Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4 comes with up to $8,000 off with discount and rebates. Plus, get great financing with no payments for 90 days. Stop by in West Salem or La Crosse and test drive one today. Ram and Pishki Motors, getting the job done. I love helping people get into a new home, whether it's a first home, moving to the area, or a forever home. I'm here to help from start to finish. They actually worked with us with our existing home and selling that and getting us into a retirement home. They've given us all different options, what to go with and what is the best for us financially. And they're so wonderful for working with us and figuring out what we needed to do and how fast we could do it. Union State Bank, where customers and community come first. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. All Christmas is now on clearance, up to 60% off at Home Seasonal Concepts. It's after Christmas clearance. Stock up on trees, wreaths, garland, and all your Christmas decor at 60% off. Everything Christmas is on clearance at Home Seasonal Concepts, inside all home furniture showrooms. The news continues on News 8 Now. Expect more. La Crosse drivers are taking advantage of today's warm temps by getting a much needed car wash. Long lines at many of our local car washes this afternoon. ShipShape reported having hundreds of customers per hour. Employees say they look forward to days like today. We wait all year for this. Uh, the excitement of getting to see all the different customers coming in and all the different cars and we just, you know, don't like sitting around uh, twirling our thumbs. The manager also says, of course, getting a car wash can prevent rush long line today um, I was not in one of those lines bill I really wish I was but it sounds like I have another opportunity or a couple board days full of opportunities yeah unfortunately we're gonna be dodging uh, precip chances every so often as well so uh, I guess that's why it's a time of year where it's good to have stock in uh, car washes because they tend to be busy uh, this time of year for sure all right skies are cloudy 40 degrees was the high today even with the cloud cover we saw some filtered Sun at times but that was 11 degrees above average 25 the low that's 11 degrees above the average low as well 60 and 25 below the records for today and no rain or snow currently 39 degrees cloudy skies out at the airport 38 downtown at the station feels like 31 thanks to a southerly breeze at about 10 to 15 miles per hour cloudy for you folks in Eau Claire as well a little bit chillier 35 for you uh, feels like 28 now do keep that in mind with the melting that went on today uh, any spots that approach that freezing mark overnight or tomorrow morning watch for some slick spots on area roads and sidewalks of course Otherwise, uh, no real cold air. Boy, stark contrast to uh, last week when we saw lots of purple on this map. Uh, that is now well up into Canada, and temperatures are mild for late December for much of the upper Midwest, including 33 in Ladysmith, 37 in Black River Falls, 36 in Sparta and Viroqua, uh, even a 43 still in Boscobel. Look at the temperature contrast over the past 24 hours. 13 degrees warmer in Eau Claire, 18 degrees warmer here in La Crosse, 22 degrees warmer in Boscobel. Thanks in part to southerly winds, 5 to 15, gusting to 20. Of course, that is causing some wind chills in the 20s to lower 30. So just keep that in mind if you're going to be out and about. Plenty of clouds in play for tonight and eventually some of this light precipitation being detected by the radar will move in overnight in the form of some very light rain showers, sprinkles or pockets of drizzle as this area of low pressure sends more moisture towards us. We could see the same uh, scenario for tomorrow and tomorrow night. In fact, Sky Tracker shows cloudy tonight. Again, maybe some light sprinkles or drizzle in spots. Looks like the best chances north and west. Otherwise, cloudy tonight, cloudy tomorrow as well. Again, maybe some pockets of drizzle or sprinkles. And then tomorrow night, maybe some snow showers to the north and west, rain or snow showers elsewhere. And then heading into Friday, it's looking dry. In fact, kind of a mix of clouds and sun on Friday, although it will be a little bit chillier on Friday. Tomorrow, though, another mild day, relatively speaking. Uh, lower 40s in the La Crosse area, right around 41 or 42 degrees. Lower to middle 40s, especially down towards Lynxville, Steuben, and Wazika. And heading back to the north, uh, chilliest temperatures will be kind of to the north and west. Mid to upper 30s in southeastern Minnesota and up into Eau Claire. And the Chippewa Valley highs there, right around 37 degrees or so. So for tonight, cloudy and mild. Again, that chance for some pockets of drizzle or a light mix in spots. 35 for the low in La Crosse. 42 tomorrow, plenty of clouds. Chance for some drizzle or sprinkles during the day and then that light rain or snow chance tomorrow night. I think anything that falls will be quite light. Drive it chillier Friday, 31. 
Uh, we wrap up 2022 on Saturday with some sprinkles or flurries. Otherwise, plenty of clouds, a high of 35. New Year's Day Sunday is looking dry with a high of 36. And then monitoring a storm system for early next week. Now, right now, the track would bring mainly rain or a mix later Monday into Tuesday and then some light snow on Wednesday. But we'll have to track this thing closely uh, because the exact track that low takes will be key in determining who sees more rain hmm. than snow. All right, still to come. Thank you, Bill. Well, the mats are all rolled out and ready. The 40 40th annual Bi-State Classic Wrestling Tournament begins at the Lacrosse Center tomorrow. Nearly 1,000 high school wrestlers hope to pin their way to the top of the tournament. The two-day event is split into two categories. The Bi-State Classic features the boys, and the showcase features the girls. Last year, 52 female wrestlers took part in the first ever showcase. This year, that number has more than tripled to 180. You know, women's wrestling is growing in Wisconsin, and you know this is just proof of it. Um, we've we've sort of been one of the leaders in the women wrestling world. Holman has, so uh, might be surprising to other people, but we we know that it's gonna it's gonna really blossom over the next couple of years. More than 800 young men also competing. Luloff is expecting roughly 3,000 spectators. Coming up in sports, a look ahead to this week's big Packers-Vikings matchup. And it's a big night of high school basketball. Excuse me, yeah, basketball. We've got highlights from West Salem. They're looking to stay unbeaten. Cade's in next with sports. The Boards Door Home Improvements family wishes you a happy new year. Visit soon to plan your 2023 home improvement project. It's never too early to dream. Retirement is one of the most important decisions you'll ever make, so you need to get it right. At Gillespie & Associates, we'll design a plan so you can retire on your terms. I'm Private Wealth Advisor Tim Gillespie, and I'm here to help. Cedar Creek now offers Trackman Golf Simulators. So real, you'll think you're there. Trackman uses Doppler radar to improve your game shot after shot and lower your score. Golf, some of the most iconic courses in the world. Sign up today. Winter League starts in January. Tee times booked online only. The season continues. Wisconsin. It's easy to take for granted how we warm up. But what if you couldn't warm up so easily? For many, it's a reality they can't ignore. Working families, elderly, disabled, and veterans struggling to keep their heat and power on in the dangerous cold of winter. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy, water, and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safe in your home. No one deserves to suffer when we can help each other. Start the new year off right during the final days of the Ford Shine Bright sales event. Don't miss your chance to choose from a great selection of new Ford vehicles in stock and ready for delivery. Or place a custom order, lock in your rate, and you're protected. Plus, new inventory is still arriving daily, so you can drive one home today. Now get a no-charge 3-year, 30,000-mile premium maintenance plan when you purchase most new Ford vehicles. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. At Gillespie & Associates, we're invested in this community because it's our community and it's our mission to help you plan your financial future so you can retire with more confidence. To see if you're on track to your financial goals, call Gillespie & Associates today. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now Sports with Kate Overton. Well, high schools might still be on holiday break, but the basketball season, it never sleeps. We have multiple holiday tournaments across the area, and that leads to some early start times. Like in West Salem, the top-ranked Panthers hosted a tough Northwestern squad earlier this afternoon. Both teams coming into the game undefeated. West Salem ranked number one in Division Three. Northwestern ranked number nine. Pick it up in the first half. It's Carson Kepnick lighting it up from deep. Gets that three to go, then top of the key wide open. Knocks down another. Panthers up by 13. Tigers trying to stay in it. Luke Seedon gets this bucket to fall. That cuts it back to 11, but the Panthers take over. Kyle Healy, strong drive to the cup. Gets the friendly roll. West Salem goes up by 19, and they kept rolling. That's Joe Sullivan. He's going to knock down the J, and then check out this pass into the corner. Brendan Kennedy wide open. Three more for the home team. All Panthers tonight as they make it look easy, 91-52. to 52. Now, later tonight, we have a big championship matchup 
At Aquinas High School, the Blue Golds will be taking on their Cooley Conference foe GET in the Aquinas Basketball Tournament. We'll have the highlights later tonight. Well, the NFL season is flying by, and with just two weeks left in the season, that means this week's Packers vs. Vikings matchup has a lot at stake. For the Vikings, yes, they've clinched the division. You can tell they're playing with a lot of confidence, and they're going out there, they're competing um, at a high, high level. Uh, obviously one of the best teams in the league, and so we're going to have to play at our best and prepare at our best to give ourselves a chance. Sunday afternoon at about 325 local time, and it will be right here on CBS. In the NBA, the Bucks are trying to snap a three-game losing streak, a rough stretch for Milwaukee, but they played some of the best competition the NBA has to offer the last two weeks. They played the one, the three, and the four seeds in the East, and then two of the top two teams in the West. A gauntlet of a schedule that had its ups and downs, but at the end of the day, Coach Bud says they have to show up and play a little bit better. We played a stack lineup. Um, and those guys played well. Um, I think there is part of it is us, but part of it is, uh, you know, Brooklyn played well, Cleveland played well, Boston played well, and we got to kind of step up and match that. All right, it's their first game since Christmas Day, and it's a, a much easier opponent as they're taking on a struggling Chicago Bulls team. It's a good opportunity to bounce back, but they have no Chris Middleton and no Drew Holiday. But Giannis is playing, and I'll have the highlights later tonight. That's all for sports and we'll be right back. Get the day's news in your inbox. Email newsletters from News 8 now. Sign up today. Go to news8000.com slash newsletters to get started. Pilgrims was great when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. They united around me from HR down to the people on the floor. They helped me get through the rough times. Pilgrims is not just a job, it's a career path. I have something for you. Hi. <laughs> I have something for you, too. Just announced in time for the holiday. Get 1.9% APR for five years on all 2022 GMC Sierra light duty crew cab models. Visit your local dealer today. Winter is here. And with winter weather come accidents and mishaps. Whether you're on your way to work, walking the dog, or out on the trail, accidents can happen. That's why we have insurance, to help with the unexpected accidents that are not your fault. At Bygoff and Rody, we'll help you get the insurance settlement you deserve to pay your medical bills, your lost wages, and get your life back on track. If you're injured, call us. Call Bygoff and Rody. Working Pilgrims has been working super nice, very convenient for me and my family. Especially in this job, I have a CDL driver license. Pilgrims is more than a job, it's a career path. Well, we're looking at cloudy skies overnight. Temperatures not all that cold for late December. In fact, steady for much of the night. We'll probably drop to about 35 here in the cross. Watch for some pockets of drizzle or, uh, or some really light mix in spots. Same with tomorrow and tomorrow night. 42, though, for the day. Uh, 31 chillier on Friday. And just some sprinkles or flurries to wrap up the year on Saturday. All right. Thank you, Bill. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We hope to see you right back here tonight at 10.